Well, our senior political correspondent, Ayodele Zubakon, is on standby in our studio in Oka and Ambra State for more on uh, the forthcoming elections. Over to you, Ayo. Yes, Bosse, I'm welcoming our viewers to the 2021 Anambra Governorship Election Studio here in Oka. When we're here in Oka and ahead of Saturday Governorship Election, we're going to be giving you bit by bit account of what is happening here. And they just finished the lockdown. So to say, I would say they just finished the lockdown because anytime it's four or five, at the end of the day, people will come out, commercial activities will start picking up. But from 7 a.m. in the morning till about 3 34, it was dead everywhere, calm. And as reflected in my report earlier, and uh, I noticed when I went back outside, people were opening their shops, marketplaces, doing businesses and everything. And <laughs> what we expect on Saturday, and we expect that the Independent National Electoral Commission, they are saying that they are going to conduct their election come what November 6th, that it is sacrosanct. And we can see the movement of security agencies here. And I'm not here alone. We, we did it eight years ago. We did it four years ago. <laughs> we are back here. Eze Wagu is a board member of Yaga Africa. Eze, nice to have you here again in Anambra. <laughs> Thank you, Ayo. Thank you so very much. I think it's exciting that we we are almost becoming veterans of our number. Honest. <laughs> From the succession of uh, Willie Obiano yeah. down the first time, his yeah. second time. Yeah. Now, let's start from 1999. We had a conversation yesterday, off air yesterday, and you gave a startling revelation about, you know, the voting pattern in Anambra State. And INEC is saying it, that they have... 2.5 million registered voters. If you have 2. But that means people came out, collected their PVC, registered to vote. What is the problem? Well, uh, history, if you, if you just take a peep at the uh, voting history of uh, the states, um, it has, it has uh, abysmal turnout rates. That is, that is actually worrying. Can you read out uh, Well, at least for the last 20, uh, the 2017 one, it didn't go beyond 22 percent, mm. and um, incidentally, no governor of this state has been elected by one million people. By one million people? Yes. No and governor. No governor of this state has been elected by one million people. Even from what I saw, not even 500,000. So I, I, I wanted to be generous, and <laughs> my generosity is coming from the fact that part of what I think my work is in in. The, the commentary for this election is to continue to inspire confidence. I've mm -hmm. said in some other quarters that I would wish that Anambra people would disappoint Nigerians by turning out massively. Because the norm is, is to say, oh, you know, uh, 400,000 people elected a governor in a, in a voting strength of the two point something million that you talked about. That's, that, that's worrying. But there are issues around which you can contextualize why that happens. Now, going, let's fast forward to Saturday now. The Independent National Electoral Commission, is there a minimum number of turnout for them to declare results? You know, going by constitutional requirement of a certain spread. It's to third, in, in, uh, in, uh, to third of the states. And so it, what it is the people that come out that will be counted. Oh, is it, it the people that not turn up, to talk of no, the registered it, voters? No, it's the, to talk of the people who come out to vote. If hundred people come out, we count, and then we ensure that they have the spread. If the if hundred hundred people come out in those in the place and it fulfills the spread of that to talk of the number of people who present themselves to 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 vote, then you are you are we are good to go. How does this impact on democracy? The, 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 when you have 2.5 million that are holding the PVC. So I've been engaging quite in a whole lot of discussions uh, across this, across a spectrum of the state. And I've, I've, I've been engaging and asking, for instance, how many people within the people that I'm talking to know the, the budget of the state for 2021. And if I have 100 people in the room, not one person, not one person. They're not concerned about that. There's a disconnect between governments. So government is an abstentia in, in reality. Uh, even though you, you have issues around, you know, infrastructure, I think that both the preceding and the, I mean, the preceding governments did quite a lot in terms of road network within the state and all of those things. But the people still are completely 
disconnected in terms of engaging in governance. And that has resulted... That has let's, let's quickly talk about security now. Now there's this concern, security concern. And from your threat assessment that we've done around the state, that Yaga Africa, before any election, you do this kind of threat assessment. And our sister organization, Clean Foundation, also does that. Yes. And security agents. Do yes. That as well. What, just tell us the flashpoints. I, I, I'm not interested in that, Ayo. And you know the reason why I'm not? I think you should ask the security agents that. What is important is that the citizens of this state have a responsibility to come, to come out, out of votes. Because so, the, the, truth is that the sociology of violence is fluid. You mm. can say that Iyala is a, is a hotspot. You can say that I am alone is a hotspot. But sociology of violence could be that mm. those places might be peaceful. And then so the, the, the thing is for the determination of the different stakeholders in mm. the state to ensure that they understand why they are coming to vote. They understand the implication of not coming out to vote. They, they continue to be educated mm. around mm. the issues of why it is important to have a government mm. five months from now mm. when the, the current government will be, will be transiting. Okay. This is what is going to be with us till the end of this um, exercise. Trust me. It's going to be on the field and we get more information. We get uh, more updates from even Yaga Africa and some other Yaga Africa and some other civil society groups. They will be coming in tomorrow and we we'll start room having Situation Room, Clean Foundation, Transition Monetary Group. We'll start giving you updates from this studio. We'll be getting bit by bit analysis of what is happening down there ahead of the 2021 governorship election in Anambra State. Over to you. Bosse. Great line up there, Ayo. Thank you for holding it down. Ayo Delo Zubako is our senior political correspondent.